Do men really listen to their women? In many relationships, communication is the foundation that determines the emotional and psychological health of both partners. While stereotypes often depict men as poor listeners compared to their female counterparts, the reality is more complex. So, do men really listen to their women? The answer is nuanced and multifaceted, influenced by individual personality traits, societal expectations, and relationship dynamics. The myth of poor listening skills. The stereotype that men don't listen well is deeply entrenched in popular culture. Movies and television often portray men as distracted, uninterested, or even dismissive when their female partners express their thoughts or feelings. However, research suggests that these portrayals may be oversimplified and not reflective of all men. Factors influencing listening skills. 1. Communication styles. Men and women often have different communication styles. According to studies, women tend to engage in more expressive communication, wherein emotion and nuance play a key role. Men, on the other hand, may adopt a more problem-solving approach, focusing on finding solutions rather than discussing feelings. This difference can lead to misunderstandings, where it seems like men are not listening, when in fact they are simply processing the information differently. Two. Socialization and Expectations From a young age, boys and girls are socialized differently. Boys may be encouraged to assert themselves and downplay emotional communication, while girls are often taught to be more expressive. These ingrained behaviors can impact how men engage in conversations with their partners. Understanding one's own communication style and that of their partner can bridge the gap significantly. 3. Relationship Dynamics the dynamics of a specific relationship can greatly affect how well partners listen to each other. In healthy relationships, both parties create an environment that encourages open and honest communication. Trust, respect, and emotional safety foster better listening skills. Conversely, in relationships marked by contention, distrust, or poor communication, listening can break down completely. 4. Emotional Availability Men, like women, come with their emotional baggage. Stress, fatigue, or psychological issues can hinder one's ability to listen attentively. When a man is preoccupied with personal problems, he may seem disengaged during conversations. Emotional availability is crucial for productive communication and listening. Strategies to enhance listening. If women feel that their voices are not being heard, there are several strategies they can employ to facilitate better communication. Choose the right moment. Timing can significantly affect how well someone listens. Choosing a calm, distraction-free time to discuss important matters can yield better results. Be direct. Clarity is key. Expressing thoughts and feelings succinctly can help men understand what is needed from them as listeners. Encourage dialogue. Instead of a monologue, engage in a back-and-forth conversation that invites feedback. This approach can make men feel more involved and valued in the conversation. Practice empathetic listening. Encourage each other to express feelings without the pressure of immediate solutions. Acknowledging emotions can promote deeper understanding. The bottom line, the notion that men don't listen to their women is an oversimplification that doesn't account for the complexity of human interaction. While there may be variations in listening styles and abilities influenced by many factors, Effective communication is always a two-way street. By acknowledging these differences and employing strategies to enhance understanding, couples can foster deeper connections and ensure that both partners feel heard and valued. In conclusion, men can and do listen to their women, but like any skill, it requires practice, understanding, and a willingness to bridge communication gaps. Ultimately, listening is about more than just hearing words. It's about understanding and valuing the person behind those words.